Hi, this is Dr. Proactive Randy Gilbert, producer of InsideSuccessRadio.com, and I invite you to take a moment and listen to this powerful interview segment so you can be more proactive and successful. Let's return to the path to triumph with the Inside Success Show. And welcome back to the Inside Success Show. This is Randy Gilbert, and we're back sharing Inside Success secrets, tips, and strategies with Sue Henderson. She's the author of Secrets of Successful Actors. And uh, wow, Sue, we got a lot of things to cover here, and I would love it if you would first just uh, start off with sharing what you feel are just the characteristics of successful uh, working actors. Okay, I would say that um, um, presence uh, would be charisma. Mm -hmm. They would be character um, charismatic. Uh, They would be perhaps persistent. They would be um, like on time, things like that. They wouldn't be, uh, you know, very uh, unprofessional. You'd want them to to be. You know, if they say they're going to do something, they're going to do it. So yeah. that's well, always something that they're... So let's talk about that a little bit more. Okay. Uh, you and I were having sort of a discussion of that. Uh, I'm, I'm a little more of a soft time kind of guy. And, and <laughs> I, I had to learn, you know, to be on time to, to get into that sort of hard time schedule when I was in the military. <laughs> exactly. I mean, that's kind of like it is here because you're holding off of a lot of expensive mm. people if you're you know, late or this mm-hmm. or that or anything. You've got cameramen and crew and expensive talent sitting around waiting for somebody mm. to do something they're not doing, you know. So they, you've got to be reliable and that sort of thing. And I would definitely say that you need a hard skin. Um, you get a lot of rejection in this. Mm. And sometimes it's not because of your talent and you've really got to be able to, to take it, realizing that, you know, you, you can't be right for everything. And some little thing, like you might look like the producer's ex-wife, but you know, that could mess up everything. Oh, yeah. <laughs> you know, something like that. It's, mm-hmm. You don't really have control. So you just, you know, have to take the good and go forward. And, mm. you know, if you don't get something, it's on to tomorrow, a new day. Right, new right. Yeah, one of my favorite uh, mentors is, is Jack Canfield. And he always says, you know, his, his favorite thing is if, if he hears the, hears the word no, he says the word next. <laughs> right. That's very good. That's kind of what you have to do here. And you can't take any of this stuff personally, uh, anything anybody says. I mean, if I had done that, I would have been back in Boston before I mm. ever got out of Wilhelmina's office. You know, but somebody said, yes, this way, not that way, mm-hmm. and gave you options and, and different ideas to, to, to go with. And that's what you need. Sometimes, it's, uh, you know, people are really quite harsh sometimes judging people in this. And I don't think it's fair because there's many, many good ways that a person could be successful. And you have to give them the opportunity to know all about what's available out there. And, uh, you know, if they can't do one thing, they can probably do another. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. So, And there's lots of things behind the camera and uh, things like that. So you never know, even if you think you want to be an actor, where your career could lead. It could be, you know, lead anywhere. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Directing, producing, in, anything. Yeah, there, there, and there actually is quite a variety, and especially in the creative arts, uh, yeah. mm-hmm. that uh, people can do. And it, one of the things that uh, some people, you know, run up against is, is that, uh, you know, they feel like, well, maybe I, I really, you know, have to go to a, a really famous school first. Uh, you know, is that true? I mean, uh, Juilliard or Yale, is that, you know, do you have to go there first in order to be accepted? No, you don't have to. Of course, uh, when you talk about Juilliard and Yale, you're talking about two of the finest uh, mm. colleges. But, uh, you know, uh, any college that has a good drama department and is respected, so there's very, you know, there's a lot of them throughout the country. Mm-hmm. Um, you know, that would be a, a good choice, perhaps, um you know, have majoring in one thing and minoring in drama to, so that they can learn what what it is they'd be going into. Or you can simply come to one of the regular acting schools like the American Academy for Dramatic Arts or the Neighborhood Playhouse, the Strasburg Institute. They're, they're all over the place. But it would be a matter of being comfortable in the environment 
and making the judgment you could actually learn in this environment. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And, um, you know, it, it would be, it's very important if you're going to take it the whole way to get this, uh, you know, good training. And, of course, some schools are, are uh, recognized more than others. Uh, and uh, interestingly enough, uh, the business problems are the same for all of them. Mm. I mean, I had a fellow graduate from Yale not too long ago, and he came. Well, he says, I understand now that I've graduated. Uh, Hi, this is Dr. Proactive Randy Gilbert. Thank you for listening to InsideSuccessRadio.com. Now I want to invite you to listen to this entire interview for free. All you have to do to get VIP access is to type in the link as you see it below. In addition to this powerful interview, you'll be able to hear many other of your favorite celebrities such as Jack Canfield, Mark Victor Hansen, Robert Allen, Zig Ziglar, and dozens of others. Plus, there are thousands of dollars in value.